Hi Leo, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for February 28th through March 14th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. All right. Six of Pentacles. All right. So this could be um, wanting someone to do the right thing or to work with you, work together, maybe come back and apologize, whatever that means. Or you're thinking about making amends with someone possibly. Okay, seven of pentacles. So we have six of pentacles, seven of pentacles, queen of cups, the hermit, ten of wands, four of cups, ten of pentacles. Yay. Okay. Yay. There's your reading. Yay. <laughs> okay. I think you want uh, to believe or think that this relationship is in review in the sense that someone's deciding or perhaps you want to uh, con reconsider a decision. Figuring out like, you know what, the, it's, the cost is going to be this but the payoff's going to be greater like this is an investment or this is like you know this is somebody i've had a lot of time with i think that whatever's where we've gone thus far i think we should go keep on going i think we should work through this what's this seven of pentacles okay so this is leo right here this knight of wands could be leo typically it would be or could it be any other fire sign or like aries or sag or it's somebody that is very um kind of take charge very social, very, um, has a lot going on right now, just very on the move, passionate pursuits, that sort of thing. Everything is done with vigor and vitality and just assurance and self-confidence. And they don't, they don't like to be bored. You know, they don't like to be idle. <laughs> anyway, so this is, um, I think you're thinking about if you want to work things out with this person or not. Maybe you're thinking whether it'll work whether we should continue, is it gonna work with this person? Or they're thinking that I could have the energies reversed here, this is general, but it, I think this is about thinking things over and deciding if you still wanna move forward and work on this relationship in whatever form that means. Like, okay, you know, working less or going and seeing a counselor or doing more things together, things like that. This is all about, all right, have, have we gone far enough and it's time to call it quits or do we wanna keep going and keep working on this? What's this? Queen of Cups about. Four of Wands. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Okay. You know, some of you are like, you know, we don't need to go see a counselor. We can figure this out. Okay, there's that. Is that the Queen of Cups? Yes, it is. Okay. Is this an affair? I mean, I don't mean to, everybody's having an affair. Everybody's having a love child. Uh, no, but we've got this, uh, could be cancer person here, Leo. And is there, I don't think you want to wait anymore. Is there distance involved? This could be Aries here. So are you waiting for someone? Um, is there distance involved and they're having to, and you're, you're having to wait for them to, make some decisions about either moving closer that would involve work or what's going on there. We got waiting and having to be patient for your person. I think you'd much rather make, look at this from a practical point of view than have to get kind of emotional about it and be like, Oh my God, I miss them. I wish that, you know, you're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to go there. I, before I get emotionally invested, I want to make sure that this is going to be worth my emotional investment. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you, it's like, okay, before I go any further, because as it is now, I feel like I'm having to wait or I feel like I'm at the crossroads making decisions here hmm. or the other person. Okay. What's this nine? What's this nine of man? What's the hermit about here? Seven, ten, ten, ten. Oh, we got two tens. Okay. Two tens is change. What's this hermit here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't, you need to pull back. Um, 
you're probably worried that you're falling in love with them or that somebody is, you're having to wait too long on someone to make a decision to figure things out. Um, maybe you're slowly starting to slip to the back burner or they're just not making you a priority and you're, you're like, you know, I, I'm not sure either. <laughs> maybe you're hoping that that's what is going on here instead of them getting more emotional about it or not making the decision to move forward to, you don't want to be left waiting. And this is you pulling back because you feel like it's the right thing to do. So we've got the six of pentacles right here and we've got karma or justice. Okay. So I think this is about you wondering what the right thing to do is and right. It's going to end up, if it's not already, it's going to end up you feeling like you need to pull back because you just can't make hide or tails of it. And you don't like having to wait and you don't like to be kept longing or waiting or it's like are you into this or not like can we get this show off the road can we get it moving or are we gonna have to sit here and wait and i'm gonna pine over you i don't think so so rightfully so honest i mean you're pulling back this could be virgo this could be libra but you're looks like you're pulling back because you just can't you're i think you're tired of the indecision what's this ten of wands here this is ten of wands here for leo Wow, Knight, King, and Queen of Wands. Look at that. This could be Sagittarius, although it doesn't have to be. It could be any fire sign. Or, again, somebody with confidence, somebody that is just ready to be on the move and, and loves creating, and they're natural-born leaders, um, also entrepreneurs. This is somebody very confident, has all their ducks in a row, and is on the move and on the hunt, and they just have a real zest for life. All right, what's this Ten of Wands about? Somebody needing to take the leadership role in working the, the whole fam damnlies here. Just saying. This is, okay, so we've got someone that needs to take the leadership role in making the first step, baby, step to, uh, nope. Take the first step in working things out. Now, someone might need to be, basically step up and go, okay, we're going to do this. Let's do this. I think you are waiting for someone else to make this decision, not like it's bad or anything, but I think this is about you hoping that somebody else will think it's worth it and step up and say, yes, I want to do it. Make a commitment, take the leadership role because it's almost like, you know, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. I'm willing. Let's do this. Okay. Are we going to, and you're, you're hoping that the other person will step up. There, there might be a lot of work, but you, you think it's worth it. And they need to engage. It seems like they need to commit. They need to prioritize. They need to engage. And I think you're tired of waiting. That's the problem. You're tired of wait, them waiting on for, to make a decision about the family or you two. We got the whole family here. We got the whole Juan's family. Just saying. What's this? Four of Cups. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you want... Um, My, sorry, my underwear bringer's over there in the corner. The one that, meow, that cat, yeah, she's over there playing in the corner. So flopping stuff around. This, I, I feel like you don't want to either be stuck or you don't want the other person to be stuck. What's this about? To be resolute in their thinking. Like, nope, that's it. I'm just, I'm, I'm mad and that's where I'm going to stay. Or, you know, I just feel like we've come as far as we can go. And I'm going to end up staying stuck in this review period. Instead of getting out of my funk or out of my thought process, I'm just going to fall down a rabbit hole and stay there. And I'm going to be stubborn about it. I'm going to stay stuck on this emotion. What's this Four of Cups? Okay, that could be Aries. Okay, so we've got... Pardon me, that would be me wiping my glasses. <laughs> we've got Aries here, but we've also got... Let's see, controlling... Is this a relationship that's really hard to be with because it's very controlling or it's a lot of work? Somebody's tired. Like this is, we got two tens of wands here. I mean, this is tired. Somebody is tired of working, of having to work. Both of these are very similar. Like we've got the king of wands and the emperor and then we've got the ten, ten of wands right here. And this I think it's just someone shutting down. You don't want to have to, this is somebody that it's a lot of work to be with. I think that's what you're thinking. It's a lot of work to be with this person. And 
You would like them to be more engaged and help carry the load. Um, you would like them to recognize that there is work to be done and to take some initiative and, you know, a positive attitude is always nice, right? <laughs> but you'd like them to show up to take leadership, not be elsewhere. You want like be here, be present, be emotionally present and engaged and want to do the work to work on this. I don't want you to stay stuck on stupid and then I have to pull you out of it. And this is... A, Staying stuck and resolute and stubborn is a way of controlling things and it just makes that much harder for me. And I think you're done with that, Leo. I think you're, you're, you don't want that. All right. So yay for the Ten of Pentacles, but at what cost? What's this? Ten? Now the good thing is who this, is, you're thinking about it in practical terms. So it's not like you're, you're wistful or like, you know, mamby pamby here. I mean, this is, you're like, look, there's a lot at stake here. You need to consider, but I don't want you to stay considering. I want you to prioritize and I want I want to get this show on the road, right? This is Ten of Pentacles. Cracky. That flipped. Oh my goodness, all these wands. This is a very passionate, fiery, dynamic relationship. It's a Ten of Pentacles. Could be, there you are Leo again. Mm, okay. So this is this is you being tired or somebody's tired. They're about done. It's like, you know, I really would like this to work out. However, there can't be this stagnation anymore. Things have got to be prioritized. So we have this stable, solid home built on a strong foundation, but it's emotionally you're emotion you're still emotionally disconnected from each other and why because you have gone inward and retreated because you're like i don't know what the right thing to do here is i don't feel like it's up to me or it should be up to me i think the right thing for me to do right now is to pull back and think about things but we still have this stable solid happy home however there's emotional disconnect it's built this is solid this is rock solid but this is there's this emotional spiritual disconnect here you, you two are not connecting right now. Pentacles and wands. Look at that. Wow. A couple of cups. Yeah, let's not get emotional. Let's not get weird. Don't make it weird, right? We've got a lot at stake. Can we just figure this out and move forward? And it looks like... It looks like both. It looks like we're moving forward, meaning the relationship's still staying intact and we're st everything's going along, but... There's a definite withdrawal here. I mean, these these are cards of withdrawal right here. So it's it's funny how this is mirroring each other. This happened in a couple other readings. This is about things staying kind of the same, but somebody pulls back and is in review. So it doesn't. You know, it's funny, Leo. Any kind of changes are going to be on the inside. This is this is waiting for someone to realize and step up and. But while you're waiting, it looks like you're going to withdraw. Any kind of movement would be internally as far as, sorry, as far as emotional. All right. Not emotional, but I mean like de just decisions made. Okay, you know, I've really got to think about this because I'm tired of, we got a lot at stake here and I'm tired of going round and round. And it's not that there's, I mean, there could be a lot of fighting, but it's just that this is, this looks like there's a lot of, um, Someone's not prioritizing the relationship or the family. All right, Leo. 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 This is about, this is a good omen card. All right, so stay focused on the goal. Keep yourself disciplined. It's going to be worth it in the end. This is a good omen card. So maybe you two are working on things. Maybe this is about working on things. I feel like this is about someone not knowing what the right thing to do is. So they retreat internally while they keep the status quo on the outside. But this is saying whatever you choose to work on bodes well. So if, if you set an intention or if you and your partner are talking about working on things, this is saying that it works out. This eight of uh, pentacles right here, it working out. Um, if this is you taking time away from your partner to work on some inner things, which it very well may be, um, it bodes well for you. I guess there's going to be some realizations or things are going to 
bring some, there's going to be some clarity and you're going to be able to move forward with your partner. What is, let's see what else here. No. This has come up before. All right, this is about forgiveness. Sometimes, you know, it says to ask yourself, what would love do, right? Um, and if you're wondering about the right thing to do, uh, it depends on if it's you or the other person, right? But if this would be saying, you know what, if you're intent on working this out, it bodes well. Why? Because you go inward and you soul search and you reach a place of uh, forgiveness for yourself and for your partner and the relationship can be restored to this strong foundation. This worries me though. Perhaps this is not a very demonstrative or passionate relationship. We got all these wands here though. This disconnect worries me. Maybe this is you two disconnecting from the world, going away. Um, maybe this is you keeping the status quo and still being insecure about the relationship or uncertain. But this is talking about the need to forgive and come from a place of compassion and love. All right, what else for Leo? So someone, it looks like this is advice for some, whoever's the one working on things or wanting to. Um, it looks like it bodes well. It's just, I, I worry about this five of pentacles here because we have security and strength and insecurity here. So it's like, it's very interesting. All right. What else for Leo? What else for Leo? Okay, so this is significant. This is talking about your significant other. Um, I think that this is uh, okay. <laughs> wow, this is a this is an established marriage, a long term um, marriage, if not one of longevity, if not a later. We're talking about a, a family with legacy here. This is a significant other. All right. Maybe this is speaking to the need to simplify things because this is just about purity and simplicity. Um, Long-term relationship, calm, sincere, relaxed, easy, everything in its place. Everything is as it should be. A nice long sigh at the end of a good day, that type of thing. And we've got the significant other, whoever it is. It can be man or woman here. This just signifies um, that it's a significant other that's important. So perhaps this is saying that if you were to want to make amends, that this person would be in fact receptive because they realize um, what's at stake here, especially the longevity, the partnership, the connection, all of that. Um, perhaps you're hoping that your long-term partner will be the one to finally make the decision to move forward and to work things out and commit. If you do, it's all here. We've got stability and things being, peace being restored, a, a connection of longevity, things working out should there be initiative. Um, perhaps this is you hoping your partner will finally take the initiative to begin the work or to see it through, stick with it, um, make the decision, make it a priority. And for maybe for both of you, it speaks to forgiveness, to mending things. And that might go a long way to restore the stability here. But it, it looks like there's no, it looks like any kind of internal move or movement is internal. Like you realizing this or them soul searching or, or trying to figure out what to do and how to do it. it. Doesn't look like anybody's going anywhere. I think there's some dissatisfaction, but this is all about an internal um, reflection period. Okay. All right. Leo, I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you um, in the next reading. Honestly, it's like everything's still intact. It's just this is an internal withdrawal. Okay. All right. I wish you luck with this. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care. Thank you again for stopping by.